What's up guys? Got uh, Pedro, my buddy Pedro with me. Probably seen him in a few of my videos. And so today we're gonna cover just how to defend the Barambolo because you know there's so many really good Barambolo artists out there. And I, I see a lot of guys, they don't know how to address the, the position. And so they're just getting swept, getting their back taken. And you can just see this at all levels of tournaments. So luckily we've got my friend Pedro. He's actually fought like, you know, Paulo Meow before. He's a really good bolo player. And so he's he's had experience fighting those guys. And he, he can tell you from his own words that like, if you don't know how to like deal with that position, man, it's very hard to pass and also just to progress. Because if, if you get bolo, like early on, and they start going into like a crab ride, man, you're gonna have a hard time coming back from that, okay? So I'm gonna have Pedro get me in the De La Hiva. So typically, yeah, stay as close as you can. So typically, like a bolo, uh, let's just have Pedro bolo me real fast. Bolo me. There. So that's a basic bolo. Uh, so you have to address this positioning. It could be on your collar, it could be your, your sleeves. So the first thing, whenever I'm passing a daily Hiva guard, I need to address this hook. A lot of guys, and this is where a lot of guys falter, they don't address this hook. Instead, they try to lower themselves down by pulling the collar, okay? That's one thing they might do. But just realize, turn this way, Pedro. Just realize when I squat down, I make that daily Hiva stronger. It makes that hook stronger, okay? So my first line of defense is my posture. If I start posturing up, it's harder to get that angle to, to get his foot in, right? Okay. He can, however, still play De La Hiva like this. I've shown before, you know, just putting pressure with the leg. And uh, But that's a different move. That's more just to control the leg. But if I start coming down, he can get his leg in for the, the De La Hiva hook. And also, if I keep my leg coming in towards his body, that makes it even stronger too. So try to always be square with your partner, your opponent, and posturing up with that leg and keep your knee going outward, okay? That's the most basic defense that I can show anybody. So just having this posture is gonna make it a lot harder, okay? If you try to pull yourself in and you're letting this knee come in, you're making this worse. It's gonna be easy to off balance you to the side. And as soon as you, as soon as you get off balance, you're already getting boloed, okay? That's just something a lot of people don't realize. When they let this daily Hiva come in, they're setting themselves up for failure, okay? So here, I, I try to block this before, before you can get a deep daily Hiva hook, uh, but sometimes he sneaks it in. Again, I'm gonna turn my knee outward. At the same time, I'm gonna push down on his shin. I could try to push down on his knee, but just realize that might also make the hook come in deeper, okay? Because when I push one side down, typically the other side will go up, okay? So he's got his hook. Look, I like to go right on the shin. My knees, instead of going straight, or either straight or out, not in, there, I pop it out, okay? Try to try to off balance me, Pedro, or get the hook back in, okay? So, you know, a lot of times, guys, they feel this, they'll start pushing you back with this leg. And if, you're, if you forget to block that leg, put your hook back in, okay? And, you know, obviously you can have the bell, you can have the collar, and then man, I'm, I'm already getting bolo. Okay. So again, a lot of times I'm fighting him with my posture and and my hand. So as soon as I feel this hook coming in, I, I don't even worry about the grip so much. I could try to break this. That's also one thing I can do. But sometimes, guy, what if he's got your sleeve or something? You know, you can off balance this, or even with this sleeve. For sure, huh? Yeah. Okay. So before I even worry about grip breaking, I start pushing this De La Hiva off while pushing my knee outward, okay? If he tries to off balance me with this leg, push me back, I'm gonna fight it and look, I take a step back while putting pressure on his, his shin and I step back over, okay? A lot of guys are calling this like the home base. Uh, I never really gave this position a name. I never really heard it called that, but a lot of people online are calling it that. And it's a good position because I can, I can kind of stabilize this guard passing position now, okay? And you know, it's gonna be hard for him to get this hook back in, and I can look, I can start turning his hips, okay? To one side, or you know, say you don't know what to do, you can just kind of control the space, 
and then think about what you want to do next. So Pedro's going to go again. He gets to the Daily Diva. Boom. So again, don't worry about this because, you know, say off balancing me. Okay. Once I'm here, this is a whole different situation. There are ways to escape this, but just realize the guys are so good at following that, man. You're already, as soon as your hip touches the mat or you post your hand on the floor, they're going to start sucking themselves like under into your back. Here, my, it's hard to defend. You know, maybe I could turn into him or maybe I could try to push away. But just realize the guys are so high level now. Once you get here, you're already at a disadvantage, okay? So for us, we want to beat the position before it gets this bad. So again, I like to posture up and I start pushing that leg out. What I see a lot of people, even like high level guys, they try to pull themselves in. But again, the guy can get the daily heel up. All right? So a lot of really good guard passers, they, they, they're used to passing so tight that they're actually trapping themselves into positioning, okay? And I will even see guys, they think they're gonna block this daily heel by going under, but just realize he can go over my arm, put your hook in, and it works the same. Now I'm trapped. Off balance me. Okay. So you guys have to know how to address that before. And uh, I've had students that, that I taught for years, they would forget that detail. And man, I'm just yelling at them, push the daily heaver down, push the daily heaver down. Because you have to go fast. Uh, again, like if someone's really good at the bolo, as soon as they get in that guard, like as soon as you get here, they're already thinking about bowling. You can see that with a lot of the guys like coming up, like Levi Jones, you know, Paul Bial, just all these really good guys. Like they, they're, they're not gonna wait. They're gonna try to bolo you. If, once they sweep you, they knock you off balance, they can go for your back. They don't have to just sweep you and then try to pass your guard and then, you know, pass your side or get to your back. They just go straight to your back a lot of times, okay? So I'm here, I have a grip on the leg, you know, and this leg, they, the guys are really good, you know, they might they might hold your pant, they might go under hook, which makes that even stronger. You know, they might go here. So there's a lot of different grips the guy can throw at you, but just realize that you need to, you need to kill this before. Push my shin up there. And even here, like, if the guy's very persistent, they'll keep going on the side. So when that happens, go on bottom. So when that happens, like, grab my collar, and there. Look, I really have to, like, kill this first. You gotta get out of that position, guys. If you try to fight this too long, look how I turn my side to him. And then from here, it's easy to off balance. Okay? And of course, there's ways to get out of this positioning. But it's very risky, you know? You might get out or you give up your back. <laughs> so again, guys, that's my approach to addressing the bolo. I like to address it from the start with my posture, pushing the leg down, and also my knee positioning. If your knee's going inward, you're giving that space for that hook. So I push my knee outward, block his leg, and also posturing up is gonna make it a lot easier. All right? So you guys gotta be fast with that. If you're too late, you're going to get someone with a good bolo, you know, you're screwed, man. Pedro, anything you want to add? How was your experience like fighting guys, good bolo guys? Uh, very difficult. Uh, usually they cook your legs because you have to fight their, you have to fight for balance. So whatever Alec is showing, it's something that is gonna save you a lot of energy and it's gonna help you uh, build the offense. Okay, so your reaction of their uh, De La Riva guard. I think something people don't realize, like guys that do bolos, that's all they, they'll drill that for, they'll drill that for hours, like how to off balance you, the right grips, their daily heave hook, like they're, that's all they drill. They're just spending hours and hours and hours just doing that kind of thing. So like, it, it's almost impossible to beat them at their own game. It's the same thing with like leg locks. If you're training with like Dan and her, of course you're gonna have good leg locks. But in order for someone that doesn't train with those guys to catch up to their level, it's gonna take a lot of time, right? So uh, just realize that bolo, you have to address it. I'm very like adamant. I'm very, I'm preaching about it because I see a lot of guys getting hit with that bolo. 
And um, that threat's always there, you know. When, as soon as you relax, you think, oh, I, I killed it. The guy can always go back for it. And there's different grips he can hold your leg, underhook, overhook. There's different things he can do to, to uh, trap you there so he, they can get it more often. And they can keep spamming it, you know. There's, they don't really lose their positioning because they can keep going for it, going for it, going for it. And um, I think a lot of guys just don't know how to pass it. <laughs> All right. So, guys, I hope this video helps you. And until next time, peace out. Peace, peace, peace.